Hey guys, I'm Fuck here and welcome to another FIFA 20 SBC video and today guys, EA are back with the La Liga Player of the Month SBC. We had the Bundesliga with Kai Havertz, we had the Premier League with Bruno Fernandes and today we have La Liga with Karim Benzema. Uh, I like this card design, uh, Benzema is a pretty cool player. Uh, obviously, I'm at a point now in FIFA where um, because reviews as well on the channel aren't really getting like a lot of views to be quite honest i'm just doing a lot of sbc videos so there won't be that many more reviews like player reviews on the channel now between basically now and fifa 21 coming out uh, unless it's like a player that i really really want to do but even so we're gonna have a look at this benzema card i believe that is the only content for today but maybe that force 18 might be new or i think maybe no actually the summer heat voting day is the new thing we'll have a look at who the new vote is at the end of this video but let's have a look at Benzema. Only one second. We'll have a look at his card stats in a second. Now, of course, he does have a team of the season cards. Um, or I'm pretty certain he does have one anyway. But just a one segment. One Real Madrid player. 80 chemistry and 82 rated squad. So, and obviously, there's no packs to return. just the one player in Benzema. It's going to be at least 30,000 coins with the fact that you have to buy a Real player. You have to get very high chemistry, of course. So, effectively, you have to build um, either an all-nation team, uh, like all French, for, you know, for example, or a whole league, uh, like the Premier League or La Liga or whatever. But um, not too, but obviously, 82 rated cards have gone up a lot recently because of various different SPCs. It's going to be at least 30,000 coins, maybe even touching on 50,000 coins. Um, because I have seen stuff on Twitter where 80 ones and 82s have gone up so much uh, in recent times but uh, let's have a look at his in-game stats now compare him obviously with other cards to see whether he is value for money and 84 pace has me a little bit concerned i won't lie to you guys it has me a little bit concerned um four star four star is decent six foot one medium low work rate not too bad obviously not like meta at the same time uh, a five star weak foot would certainly have me a lot more interested his in-game stats the decents, the decents. Uh, 84 stamina is like fine, not the graces, but it's okay. Good strength, very poor balance for this stage of fever. His agility is kind of average as well, apart from that his other dribble and stats are class. And of course, uh, an artist cam style or an engine cam style would, I believe, get that balance and agility up. Really good heading accuracy, although it doesn't matter because you can't basically head the ball in fever 20 anyway. Uh, passing stats are good for a striker, 92 short passing, 93 vision, couldn't fault that whatsoever. Shooting, fantastic with his shot power, finishing and positioning. His shooting stats all round are actually very impressive. And his pace isn't too bad, like decent acceleration, his sprint speed isn't the greatest. But as like a target man striker, he's going to be like a Lewandowski almost in the sense, isn't he, I suppose, in, in like traits. I mean, the outside foot shot trace is obviously good to have. I don't know what team plan necessarily does. And uh, playmaker as well as an AI trait. But on the whole, I think for what you require for this SBC, if he's going to cost, what, like 50,000 coins or maybe slightly under or something like that, it isn't too bad at all. Uh, of course, winning player of the month for June and scoring last night as well to help people get that 95 rated Vinicius Junior card. So uh, I suppose maybe you have uh, Benzema to thank there uh, a little bit. And that was a nervy game. That was 2 1. And I believe Matchis actually scored in that game as well, which is pretty insane. I'm just looking at this account right now as well. I just don't play FIFA at the moment. Like, I'm still enjoying football a little bit, but. I'm not even enjoying like watching Liverpool at the moment because we've won like the title and stuff. So I'm kind of enjoying like, the race for the top four. I'm enjoying the relegation battles, to be quite honest, more than anything at the moment. And there's just like a 99 message just chilling on the reserves, uh, which is fantastic. And somehow Cedric gets into the team ahead of Lionel Messi, which is fantastic. I mean, Lionel Messi will probably make a better fullback than uh, than Cedric. But uh, anyway, let's focus on this Benzema card. I want to see what other versions he does have. He had a UCL version, and I believe he did have a team with a season version as a centre forward card that was 97 rated. Um, now, okay, uh, I don't want to have a look at other strikers at the moment. So I just want to focus on Benzema. I'm hoping it's like the Bruno Fernandes card where he has like already another 92 rated card because that Bruno Fernandes SBC was stupid. And there is, of course, Jovic here. He's got an SBC that's around for the rest of FIFA. I believe he requires two 85 rated squads. And obviously, he does look a little bit more... Uh, well, actually, he's better in every single stat than Benzema, apart from his passing. Uh, he's just a much more appealing card, but obviously, 
and the fact it's got five star week four. You know, if you've got Jovic in your team, you know, you wouldn't need to upgrade to Benzema. He's obviously lower rated and it just isn't as good for the most part. Now, Benzema does have that 90 rated card. Uh, this one, I believe, was as an inform and his 89 was the UCL cards. So this was just a, a team league moments card. I think I reviewed that card uh, and it's decent, you know, same work rate and stuff like that. Still good stats for the most part. 82 stamina, poor balance. Um, but he was good when I reviewed him, like, what, six weeks ago, seven weeks ago or something? I'm pretty certain that was the one I reviewed. And then in regards to the sense of forward cards, yeah, 97 rated. And he does have a 91 rated as a team of the week, which is basically going to be... I want to see what this card goes for on the market, and I want to see what his team of the season card goes for on the market. That'll give us like an idea whether this SPC is going to be value for money, which I suppose on the whole, really, for a 92 rated card where you're putting in maybe just 50,000 coins or just an 82 rated squad, and then you can use them as SPC for that, in, even in that sense, he would be worth it. But is he going to be worth his player to actually use in your team? Uh, apparently, oh yeah, I've already got like a Benzema in there, which is kind of annoying, but I want to see how much this 91 Benzema quickly goes for on the market. Um, that was a bit stupid. If I just go to Team of the Week, I'm still trying to get used to this new system at the moment. Uh, where's Team of the Week gold? Oh, oh I need to go to Moments, don't I? And then... So this... Wow, okay. So he's cheaper than... But this is the 90-rated version. There's supposed to be a 91 version here as well somewhere, unless E8 is lying to me. But, yeah, listen, on the whole, I think from what we've seen, obviously, you know, he's a good card for the most part. Um, you know, is he going to be better than, like, most of your current starting 11? Uh, or is he going to be better than, like, most of your strikers at the moment? Maybe not. So I can see a lot of people just doing this one as SBC for it. But he's still a decent SBC um, to do, though, for the most part. Kind of cool, of course, and uh, certainly has had a fantastic season for Real Madrid, um, who are very close to winning their title. But we're finish off this video so basically on the whole what i'm saying is yes i think he is worth doing maybe not so much to kind of use him in game as such because the chance that you might already have a better striker but certainly to do is like spc fodder to put into like maybe if there's a cool summer heat card that we get on thursday you can get this 92 rated benzema card and put him into one of the segments or something like that but let's anyway finish off this video so we've got rebic saka interesting i thought they would have actually done one of those silver moment cards we've seen one for polina we haven't seen any since then so I'm kind of surprised that Saka is in this vote, or Munier, the former um, Barcelona project. Now, oh, I'm liking Saka, but I'm thinking at the same time, is it a waste to go for him? Because he might end up just getting like a, a silver one anyway at some point. Red, which would be kind of cool. I'm not a massive fan of wingers in this game, and Munier's only got a three-star week for so I'm going to go with Rebic in that one. I would like Saka, but at the same time, I'm just kind of hoping that they'll do like a silver moments boost of him anyway. But anyway, guys, that is going to finish up this video. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys later.